Happy Friday! It's that time again. It's time for another Five Things Friday, and this week I am tackling a major, major, major baking question. It might be one for the ages. To box or not to box? That is the question. Stick around and we'll get right to my answer. Happy Friday! I'm so excited to spend another Friday with you. I've been enjoying taking a few Fridays off for summer, but I'm back at it this week as I'm starting to really ramp up recipe testing for the next Bake Shop mystery. A question came up last week when I was visiting a very dear friend of mine. She sheepishly, with a very embarrassed face, <laughs> admitted that she's never baked a cake from scratch. She likes to use mixes. She felt terrible about it and I was telling her like, please don't apologize. She has three kids, she's a working mom, and I'm impressed that she's just attempting to bake anything. Yes, I personally like to bake from scratch, but I know that there are always times where we don't have time. And if I'm busy, I have five great hacks that can make your cake mix taste more like something you might find in the pastry case at Tort. So without further ado, let's get right to my five cake mix hacks. Number one, butter, butter. Butter, always butter. I mean, what more do I need to say? It's Helen's mantra at Tort. Butter makes everything more beautiful. Butter makes everything better. Just butter. When in doubt, add butter. No, seriously, for any cake mix that calls for oil, you can substitute with butter. It's gonna give the cake a little bit more density, and of course, it's gonna infuse the mix with butter flavor. So if you have nothing else on hand at home and you're gonna bake a cake mix, add butter. Number two. Vanilla bean. I mean, come on. When I open a vanilla bean, that flavor, there is nothing like it. Cake mixes are great as a starter, but they aren't always really rich in terms of flavor, in my opinion. Um, maybe you disagree and that's fine. But for me, adding fresh vanilla bean paste makes all the difference, especially with a vanilla or some kind of buttery yellow cake mix. Adding fresh vanilla bean is just gonna give it that nice, pop and that aroma of vanilla. So find vanilla bean. If you don't have a vanilla bean on hand, any sort of vanilla will do. You could do extract or pure vanilla, whatever you have, or you could shake it up. Try some almond extract, some orange, you could zest in a lemon, any sort of flavoring that you can add to enhance the cake mix flavor is going to make your taste buds sing with delight. Number three, Buttermilk, yes, buttermilk. Buttermilk is thick and creamy and it has that natural tanginess to it, which I think really enhances any cake mix. Instead of adding water, which cake mixes typically call for just adding water, swap that liquid with buttermilk. You can do this in a chocolate cake mix or in a yellow or white cake mix. It's just gonna give that box some depth and add in a little bit of a bite, which is always a good thing in terms of balancing sweetness. Trust me, buttermilk is your friend when it comes to making a cake mix taste like something you spent hours laboring over. Number four, coffee. It is no secret that I love my coffee. In fact, click the link above to see a previous Five Things Friday where I covered all things coffee. In any event, coffee does great things to chocolate cake mixes. So add coffee to your chocolate cake mix. In my humble opinion, coffee and chocolate are the perfect pairing. Much like we did with our yellow cake mix, swap the water in a chocolate cake mix for a cup of your favorite brew. For me, I love a really strong, dark French roast. So I use my favorite brew anytime I am baking with a chocolate cake mix. It is going to add such decadence to every slice of cake you make. Number five, beer. That's right, I said it, beer. This is one that Jules and Sloan would most definitely agree with. You can swap out water in any cake mix 
for a frothy cup of beer and infuse your mix with bubbles and a bit of zing. It works in a yellow cake mix, especially with some sort of an IPA or some kind of light pilsner, anything that maybe has a fruity flavor. And it works magically in chocolate cake mixes with something dark and stout. Whether you're a fan of beer or not, try it in your baking. You might be surprised with the results. The flavor is very toned down and of course you're baking off all of the alcohol so you don't have to worry. Okay, so those are my five quick and easy tips for making a cake mix taste like something that Jules and Helen would serve at Tort. The thing is, you can do a combination of all of those tips that I shared. So often if I'm using a cake mix, if I'm in a rush, I will swap out butter, I will add some sort of flavoring and change a liquid up, whether that's a cup of beer, of coffee, or rich creamy buttermilk. I promise it's gonna make your cake mix feel like it was baked with love, which everything we bake in the kitchen is baked with love. And what I told my friend is, there is never shame in using a box mix. If you're short on time or you're just not a baker, it's a great sort of gateway into baking, I think. And I love the idea that you can experiment with making a cake mix feel more like your own. Now, do not get me started on canned frosting. That is another topic for me that is not up for debate, never canned. Of course, my husband would disagree. That's a conversation for another Five Things Friday. Thanks so much for joining me for another Five Things Friday. What are your cake mix hacks? I'd love to know. Have you used any of these? Do you have other tips or ideas that I can experiment with you? Or are you just a baking purist and you say no, never to a box? Comment below and let's get a discussion going. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy Friday.